use the inverse operation to check the answer to this calculation. So we have 3,952 plus 1,064 equals 5,016. So we can represent this calculation with a bar model. So with the numbers that we're adding below and the total on top. So this bar model shows us the calculation that we're given but also shows us that 1,064 plus 3,952 should also equal 5,016, because with addition, order doesn't matter. You can add numbers in a different order, and you should still get the same answer. But this bar model, or this calculation, can also give us some subtraction facts. So, if we start with the number on top, so start with 5,016, we should be able to subtract 3,952 to get 1,064. So if you have an addition calculation, subtracting one of the numbers from your answer should give you the other number. Or we could work out 5,016 minus 1,064 and we should get 3,952. So addition calculations can be read backwards as subtraction calculations. So if we start with this number and subtract this number, we should get the number that we start with. Now it says here, use the inverse operation. So because we have an addition calculation, Using the inverse means checking using one of the subtraction calculations. So, because we were given this statement here, we could check using 5016 minus 1064, and if that gives us 3952, so the other number in our original calculation, then we can be confident that this statement here is correct. 6 minus 4 is 2. We can't do 1 minus 6 using the column method, so we go to the left, but we have a 0, so we go to the left again. 1 less, 1 in front, and again, 1 less, 1 in front. 11 minus 6 is 5, 9 minus 0 is 9, and 4 minus 1 is 3. So, because we've worked out by subtracting that we get the number that we start with, we can be sure that this calculation here is written correctly. So now, let's do the same, but this time for 7,433 minus 2,488. And we can use the inverse to check whether that is equal to 4,945. So we can represent this calculation with a bar model. So with our minuend, the number that we're subtracting from on top, and then our subtrahend and our difference in the bars below. So this bar model should, can also tell us that if we add 2,488 and 4,945, we should get 7,433. So if you have a subtraction question, you can check that by adding your subtrahend, so the number you, that you're subtracting, and your difference, and that should give you your minuend, so the number that you were subtracting from. Now this bar model also tells us that 4,945 plus 2,488 should give us the same total because with addition, order doesn't matter. You can add numbers in any order and you should get the same answer. This bar model tells us also the subtraction that we were given. So if we have our total and we subtract one of the numbers in the bars below, we'll get the other number. And that means that if we start with 7,433 and we subtract 4,945, we should get 2,488. So if we take our minuend and subtract our difference or our answer, we should get our subtrahend. So we were given this calculation here, 
which is a subtraction calculation. So if we're using the inverse operation to check, we can check by doing one of the addition calculations. So let's work out 2,488 plus 4,945. And if we get 7,433, then we can be confident that this statement here is correct. Now 8 plus 5 is 13, so 1, 3. 1 plus 8 plus 4 is 13, so 1, 3. 1 plus 4 plus 9 is 14, so 1, 4. And 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7. So we can be confident that we've got the right calculation written here. Because we've added our difference and our subtrahend and that's given us our minuend.